Gentlemen, welcome to my house. Why don't you come in? Let me show you around. So welcome to my home. This is the loft that I've lived in for the past year and a half with my wife, and I absolutely love it. But there's some things that I don't necessarily love about it. And so I'm probably only gonna be here for another two months before I sell it, but I thought it'd be a cool idea to take you around and show you such a cool space. I fell in love with this the minute I walked in the front door. The 14 foot ceilings, ridiculous. The exposed brick, super old building, I thought was absolutely spectacular. Every night, Monday through Friday, this is pretty much where you're gonna find me. I'm gonna be chilling on my couch with a cat or two, watching TV, working, editing some videos, and answering emails. I also love when it's cold, hitting the fireplace, a little slate action, and the best view of this room is actually up on the landing. So, come on. So I love this landing up here. It pretty much sets the stage for how big this room is. The other thing that's big is this big ass mirror, which, come on. Who doesn't need a huge mirror, right? I think we all do, but check it out. Look how cool. Nice, huh? Come on, let's go upstairs. All right, so the cats, you'll see a few of them. This little princess is my soulmate, Piglet, and she's the greatest cat ever. She also will shower with me. We won't show you that, but she sits on the little, anyway, I know it's weird. I'm a cat dude. I also like dogs, but cats, come on now. Anyway, up top of the stairs, it's a little sitting area. And this is where the cats, a lot of times, will hang out. It's a really cool, comfortable space. Sometimes I'll just come up here with a cup of coffee, look outside, it's just peaceful. Um, the other thing I would like to show you now that we're up here is one of two bedrooms. One of the problems with this place is that it only has two bedrooms. This is the spare room and this is <laughs> the point where I'm gonna show you another one of my cats. That's Angelo. <laughs> what? She's shy, she doesn't like the camera. Anyway, this is where my friends stay when they come in town, like for StyleCon, Antonio Centeno. This is where he hangs out and relaxes when he comes to the Alpha M crib. And um, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a cool little bedroom. Um, something else kind of cool about this space that is kind of weird, but I kind of love it, is the fact that in the floor, it's all original floors from like the 1900s, and it's got all these different like indentations and grooves where like factory workers used to sit, and so it's kind of cool. And there is actually my closet. Another downside to this space is that the closet space is terrible. I like clothes, my wife likes clothes, and so that's also been a little bit of an issue. This is my closet, I'm not gonna show you because it will make you not like me anymore. And here <laughs> is one of the bathrooms. One of the things that I did before I moved in is I converted both bathrooms. We went with a white Carrera marble, which is killer, and some super cool little crystal pools, which I just thought were kinda cool. Also, of course, you're gonna find the Tiege Hanley, the Pete and Pedro, Cream, little, little something to make the ladies go wild. Um, but this is my bathroom. This is where, where I actually will get ready a lot of times because my wife is using a hair dryer in the other room. The space here is a little cramped. Let me take you now into where the magic happens. So this is the master suite. Um, this is the other bathroom that I did when I moved in. It used to have a tub and a small little shower stall, but I was like, yo, this place has like literally zero closet space. And so I actually built my wife a separate walk-in closet. This is where the real magic happens. <laughs> um, and then went slate, big, sick, awesome shower. And once again, did matching Carrera marble up here. I just wanted a bathroom that, that felt masculine, but was kind of just like old school cool. And I really absolutely love this bathroom. This bathroom is one of my favorite things in the house, but this isn't a good enough reason to stay. Now, and then this is the master bedroom and where my wife and I spend a great deal of quality time <laughs> sleeping. Anyway, once again, 14 foot ceiling, super cool, big fan. And the highlight of this room has got to be the bed, which brings us to today's video sponsor, Lisa Mattress. Here's the deal, you guys, 
have heard me talk about Lisa Mattress before. They are the only mattress that's in this joint. I'm talking what I sleep on, also the guest room. I've got two of them. And the reason is because I love their mattresses so much. When I finally switched to a super high quality mattress like Lisa, everything started to feel better on my body. Lisa is a high density foam mattress. You go to their site, you order the mattress. It shows up in a box. You take it out of the box, you unwrap it, you slice open the plastic and it inflates. And what you're left with is an amazing mattress that is going to make you sleep like a baby. Lisa Mattress is a direct-to-consumer mattress company, meaning they cut out the middleman, which means they can offer you a higher quality mattress at an incredible price. And the deal is this, they're also a great company with a cause. For every 10 mattresses they sell, they donate one mattress to a shelter. They also plant a tree for every mattress that they sell. Getting an incredible night's sleep is so critical to your success and productivity. Once I started using the Lisa mattress, everything felt better on my body. I wasn't as sore after my workouts. I got a deeper night's sleep, which meant I was more productive the next day. The other really cool thing, if you want to try an amazing Lisa mattress, there's a link down below that's going to allow you to try it in your home a hundred nights. You get to sleep on the thing for a hundred nights. If you don't like it, no problem. They'll take it back free shipping. The link down below is also going to give you a discount on a Lisa mattress. And so guys, if you've ever thought about upgrading your sleeping game, hit that link. And while you're at it, you might want to check out one of the other things that Lisa sells, which I have absolutely fallen in love with, which is they're incredible pillows. These pillows are ridiculous. I never thought a pillow was that big of a deal until I started sleeping on this bad boy. Incredible. Also, sheets. They recently came out with incredibly luxurious, like 500 thread count feeling sheets. These things, incredible. This bed is ridiculous. Gentlemen, you know what else is ridiculous? My kitchen. All right, so this is the dining room. Um, I never sit at this table, <laughs> but I love these animal heads, huh? Little, little extra something special, just kind of cool, whatever. We thought it was cool. Um, kitchen. This kitchen has actually been featured in a few different commercials. It was in, I think, an AT&T commercial, possibly a Sprint commercial, but this was before I actually lived here. But I absolutely love this kitchen. It's, it's clean, it's simple, it's a little bit small though. You got the Viking range, you've got the slate backsplash, and once again, lots of windows, TV up on the wall, great dishwasher. And that's my key. You want to see inside? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not showing you inside the fridge. <laughs> no, no. But what I will show you is where I spend most weekends. Come on downstairs. We've got a half bath. I did not remodel, but downstairs is, is probably one of my favorite parts of the place. So this is the basement, but this is where we actually have our media room. Um, you can see, look how low the ceilings are, right? I'm five foot six, and this is not necessarily a place where tall people would feel real comfortable, but for short people like me and my wife, it's perfect. Got a treadmill down here for when I'm looking to burn a little fat. I also have a really cool painting that I, that I, I got from my wife. It, it's actually my cat's, and that was a 10 year anniversary wedding present for her, and so, that's, that's something that I really think is special. This couch, speaking of special, this thing is, oh, sorry, Piglet. This thing is ridiculous. Every weekend, watching TV, watching movies, watching incredible Netflix series, we fall asleep here. We like don't move some weekends. It's also got a great screen here. I assume it's great. I've never actually watched anything, even though the place came with a projector. And um, you know, whatever, I like, I like this. <laughs> anyway, let me take you one more place before I kick you out of here. All right, this is Frank, he's awesome. And this is the last stop on the Alpha M Cribs tour. And some things I'd like to point out, a few things that I absolutely love down here. Number one is this table. It's old, it's just, I don't know how old it is, it's probably not old, but it looks old and that's what counts. It's just cool, rustic, absolutely love it, distressed, and, and this is just something that I absolutely love. The other thing that I absolutely love are these two bikes. This is probably one of the highlights to me living in the Marietta area is that on weekends, my wife and I will just hop on our bikes and go cruise around. It's relaxing, it's therapeutic, and. Honestly, it, it's, it's just, it makes me happy. 
And so I highly recommend getting a beach cruiser when you live somewhere you can ride. And um, I guess that's it. And that concludes the Alpha M Cribs Tour. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. But now it's time for you to go.